How y'all doing? This is for Facebook users. Facebook ain't nothing like, ain't no different than back in the 60s. We used to use the bathroom to do what y'all do on Facebook and social media. So I came up with the idea of the toilet and using social media for social changes. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, MySpace, Instagram, emails. And that's what I did. I didn't have, I had a business and was financing my documentary. When I ran out of money, when I was kidnapped, I had to find a free way of doing it. Social media is free. Getting ready to flush some careers down the hole. I'm going to use President Trump to do it. I started this documentary when President Bush was in office. Um, Tim Russert from NBC. Tim Russert's son, Luke Russert, was playing baseball at uh, St. Paul's. And he gave me the idea. And I told him about my story. He said, well, write letters to your president. So I wrote the movie. I wrote one of the movies was called Letters Design. One was called Portraits of a Letter. One was called Letters to My President. One was called Racism. Uh, but Letters Design is Rob Fix. Everything that Letters Designs is evidence for a federal investigation. It is never to be published to the public. It is strictly for an investigation. I don't never want that movie ever to hit the light of day. Period. That's evidence. Now the movie Racism, this is it. You want to make America great again? You got to address America's hate again. And you got to do it through the Constitution. You got to do it through laws that are already in the books. I don't need a million people to march. I need a million people to pay attention. And we're going to address the war on drugs and the prison industry. I went to jail in Illinois and I went to jail in Maryland to prove the corruption and the racism in the courts. The money you make off black bodies. Not that black lives matter. The money you make off black bodies. I'm worth $47,000 a year incarcerated. My body and my body parts are worth over $2 million dollars. My ears, my eyes, my nose, my intest my, my, my kidneys, my lungs, my heart, my body parts are worth a lot. Because you got a lot of inmates that's in jail that you don't have nobody claiming them bodies. Now you can contact Heather Sinclair and she'll tell you the same thing. Skeletons are worth money. It's cheaper to educate me at twelve thousand dollars a year. But I'm worth more dead. I'm worth more as a prisoner. I'm worth more as a slave. We traded the penitentiary for the plantation, cotton for cocaine, and we the cash crop. So here we go. In my bathroom, I'm doing this. I use the toilet. Because I like the toilet. The toilet don't care if you're black, white, straight, or gay. The toilet take your shit every day. The president even got to take a shit. So when the president see this video, he'll think about me when he take a shit in the morning. That's President Trump. And every time I do a tweet, I'm a tweet about Trump. That's President Trump. Trump, because he had my whistleblower's application exposing the Democratic Party and the money you make off a of black body since last year, and you ain't did nothing about it. It's 52 of y'all. You feel me? It's 52 of y'all. I was locked up. I was incarcerated. That's me. I was kidnapped by the state. My property was stolen because I put a toilet in front of the Towson Courthouse with Scott Schellenberg on it, with Greg Bernstein on it, with Governor O'Malley on it. It was exposing the money you make off of black bodies in the prison industry in Baltimore County and Lake County, Illinois. See that? December 18th, 2018. Chief Justice Roberts, Senator Antonio Hayes. December. Chief Justice Roberts, Senator Antonio Hayes, YouTube. Maryland Insurance Corporated. Because I was insured when I did this for a million dollars. I had a million dollar policy. So we're going to go to David Cumminich. From the U.S. courts. Alright. Derek Clark is my cousin. Alright. Thomas Lewis from John Hopkins University. Because John Hopkins University got a lot invested in this. Alright. Tim Tennyson from, from Hearst Broadcasting. Alright. Baltimore County State's Attorney's Office. Scott Schellenberger. Alright. You kidnapped me because I was making a movie and a documentary about you. And here it goes. All right, here it goes. Can you read? I'm going to read it for you. I'm going to try to read it for you. On April the 7th, 2007, I contacted Chief Justice Roberts of the Supreme Court. I was making a movie about the war on drugs. State of Illinois versus Dwayne Davis. Case number 86CF293. 
directly addressing the war on drugs. My case was reversed and remanded. I'm innocent of all charges. Chief Justice Roberts instructed me I can approach the Supreme Court under Article 3 of the Constitution and Governor Hogan, County Executive Johnny Oleski, Baltimore County President Julian Jones, Judge Cox have a movie release and a writ of sociority about my complaint number. Complaint number. Baltimore County Police took a complaint. Scott Schellenberger refuses to submit this complaint as evidence to the grand jury. Refusal of due process and equal protections under the Constitution. Judge Bennett, Judge Starks, Judge Souter, Judge Bell, Judge Janae, Judge Rossetti, Judge Pearson, Judge Papai, Judge Hall, Judge Foreman, Judge Boris, Judge Hall, Department of Justice, Patrick Fitzgerald, Rod Rosenstein, Alan Locke, Robert Davis, Mr. Harding, all have evidence and knowledge of my situation and illegal incarceration. And so does Michael Waller, Ken LaRue, Dwight Pettit, Warren Brown, Ivan Bates, J. Wendell Gordon, Greg Bernstein, Hajan Giajano, Mayor Pugh, Mayor Dixon, Mayor Stephanie Rollins-Blake, Mayor Cunningham, Mayor Hyde, Mayor Moxley, Mayor Sabanjan, and it all started with Mayor O'Malley, November the 28th, 2006, my nonprofit Get Shorty program a reentry program for ex-felons. The program has been working and effective for 25 years. Part of my program was policing the police and shadowing politicians. In 2007, I was kidnapped by Marco Waller in the Waukegan Police Department and held 186 days to keep me from filing a $2.5 billion class action lawsuit on the war on drugs. On May of 2008, while incarcerated, President Obama, Senator Obama asked for a full investigation into my incarceration. I'm the subject of invest that investigation. I'm a whistleblower in the courts. All right. And these are my signatures of my family. My family signed off on this. And they submitted it to the Department of Justice. Freedom. But I'm going to terrorize you with the truth. And my live fees in the 219 session. Speech and freedom of assembly. Intellectual property covered and protected under the Constitution. All right. Now, that's Trump. That's Trump. And that's me in 2018, February 2018, during Black History Month. United States District Court, Honorable Judge Bennett. Follow-up letter to the online submission to my whistleblower's application. All right. That's Chief Justice Roberts of the Supreme Court. 2013. This is a follow up letter. This is my whistleblower's application. All right. That's Fran Cott. That's Kiefer Mitchell. That's Ken LaRue. That's Teresa Davis, my sister. That's Valerie. Davis. That's Diana Suggs from the Baltimore Sun. <clears throat> you see this? That's Frank Conway, the House Judiciary Committee. That's Johnny Oleski. All right. Dear Johnny Oleski and all those running for office, everything I have posted since 2006 when I started the social scientific experiment, the word, the key words were when I submitted my written sociority to the Supreme Court. I got Ray Lewis on my poster for my child, poster child for my homeless program. Ask Peter Francott, Alex Bruxter, Joe Kane. It's election year, all right? Making a movie about Schellenberger and Waller ain't against the law. Using your office for retaliatory political views is against the law. Illinois and Maryland. Movie covers two states attorney's office and the war on drugs. The lies de destroyed behind the 13th Amendment. I'm a whistleblower. I'm a prisoner's right advocate. And the enemy of my enemy gonna be my friend. You wanna make America great again? You got to address America's hate again. I'm a whistleblower exposing the corruption of Maryland's Democratic Party. Senator Holland, Ben Cardins, Kwasi and Fume. Ain't no law against making a movie. It wasn't easy to do. 15 years of slavery. In Illinois and I went to jail. Point. Blacks have no rights in which white America respects. President Trump said, if you want to leave, leave. I'm going to give up my citizenship and I'm going to apply, apply for political asylum in Cuba, Russia, China, North Korea. And we're going to expose racism 101.
We're going to make America great again. We're going to address America's hate again. Slavery under the 13th Amendment. I'm not a slave. I'm a free man. I'm a free white man.